Conservative new media viewers, we've got some news from the NBA. Lynn's sanity hit its second wall tonight as Darren Williams and the visiting New Jersey Nets defeated Jeremy Lynn and his Knicks at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The final score of the game was 100-92 to for the Nets. We'll include several links to stories about this game in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. The first of those links will be to the box score and video highlights of tonight's contest. The Knicks looked good early in this game. They took a 10-point lead early in the first half, but point guard Darren Williams wasn't going to let that stand for the Nets. If you'll recall, the Jeremy Lin era and Lin sanity began on Saturday, February 4, 2012. Lin did not start that game, but it was his effort that helped give New York the victory. That was the beginning of the rise of Jay Lin's fame, and here we are today. One minor point, though. The team and player that Jeremy Lin beat that night on February 4th? The New Jersey Nets and Darren Williams. Yep, you got it. This was a revenge game for Williams and the Nets. And Williams, or D-Will as he is also known, wasn't about to let it slip away. Williams is one of the top three point guards in the NBA, and he reminded everyone of that fact tonight against the new kid on the block. For the Knicks, this was their second trap game in three contests. For our viewers outside of the United States, a trap game means a game that a team either overlooks or does not take very seriously. This happened to the Knicks against the New Orleans Hornets the other night, and it happened again tonight against D. Will's Nets. The reason this game was a trap game was because the Knicks were on national television yesterday in the USA against the defending NBA champion Dallas Mavericks. So, most of the team's effort was likely focused on and spent on that game. Tonight, New York looked like it thought it could just show up and win, but that was not to be. Not with an angry d will in town. Congratulations to the Nets. They earned this one. For the Linsanity fans, don't despair. Though Williams clearly outplayed him, Lynn did a good job of managing his turnovers tonight, and this is a learning experience. Also, star forward Carmelo Anthony and reserve guard Baron Davis returned to the Knicks lineup, so New York was a bit unsettled and played like that at times. Jalen and the team will be fine. Win some, lose some. Jaron Williams led the New Jersey Nets with 38 points, 4 rebounds, and 6 assists. Williams hit eight three-point baskets and was simply brilliant. He took it to Jeremy Lin and easily won that matchup. No shame in that for Lin. D. Will is one of the league's best players. Marshawn Brooks added 18 points for New Jersey. Jeremy Lin had 21 points, 7 boards, and 9 assists for New York in the loss. He also had four steals and just three turnovers. If Lynn's worst night of the year is a near triple double, that ain't bad. Amari Stoudemire added 17 points in the defeat. The Knicks fall to 16 and 17 on the year. They are now 8 and 2 in the Jeremy Lynn era and will next face the Atlanta Hawks this Wednesday, February 22nd, in New York. Give us your comments below on this game. How great was Darren Williams? Were you happy that Jeremy Lin turned the ball over just three times? Do you think Lin will be happy to have a chance to face Williams again and get some payback for tonight? You tell us below. Also, be sure to let us know what you thought about this video by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. For Conservative New Media, your number one Jeremy Lin channel on YouTube, this is NBA expert Paul F. Villarreal.